What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend. And matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation. Beasts of air, water, earth. And steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go. Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. Oh, that's a lot of berries. 
You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. <laughs> Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. can get through. must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said to never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. shiny there. A metal door, closed. 
Maybe this device I found can help. More light. Or change color too. device like the one I found They die here. What happened to them? Don't belong down there. Come. <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy. Such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. And starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Be 
shake. What do they mean? Take your bow. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called South Rush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers in grace. The Nor tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Mm. Aloy, a machine is coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen closely and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow.
There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Good. Those will do. Follow. Machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. They must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. It's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Good. Now, gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Use the stalks as arrow shafts and metal shards for our heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. They heard you. Don't be so noisy this time. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. Strider. One of the weaker machines, but even a weak machine can kill a hunter, if she's careless. You must study the brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable, like its eye. Can you guess another? The canister on its back. Again! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick!
Oh no, that what you saw me. Slowly and quiet. Can't let them see me. their path. Almost there.
Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She... Boy! She saved me. I, I just want to... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. And you... That boy should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves, but to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proven. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it will take years. Start training? Yes. Follow.
two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace, and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Oh... Uh, Odd Grata might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grata follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't... There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. Okay. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst to visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a tripcaster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right. See you at the North Gate. If he thinks I'm gonna abandon him, he's wrong. The Embrace. My whole life I've never gone beyond this valley. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days, and I'll know who she was, and why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right, time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. more days, and I'll know what it's like in there. It's so many people crammed into one place. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there.
keep that for later. I need to speak to you. You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Well, 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 an outcast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. Last time I visited, you had a tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. You've got yourself a trip caster. Practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. I shouldn't have come this way.
I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. Hunting out there doesn't sound easy. There he is. Right where. <laughs> hey, look. You have the fire arrows. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then. We wait for dark. Wait for dark? I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new. Something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. <sighs> yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine. That's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. An entire lodge? Wrecked. By... Sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. for you 
to decide. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. <laughs> 